In this ukulele tutorial, I'm going to show you how to strum I'm Yours, one of the most popular songs on ukulele. Hi, I'm Terry and welcome to Ukulele the Pros. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the lessons and tutorials. We're going to go over just the intro and the verse today, so not the whole song, but I really want to focus in on the strum pattern. It's going to sound like this. So it's really a lot of muting that's going on in this particular piece. Now this is the original key, so we're going to use all bar chords, which actually makes the muting a little bit easier because you're going to be muting with your hand that's holding the chords. So the first chord here is just your B bar chord. And each chord is going to get two measures. So just the strum pattern on this B is going to be like this. All right, so all this is doing is just doing constant eighth notes. So this eighth note. So first of all, you want to do this. Okay, and all this is is down, up, and I'm just using my index finger. And what I'm doing here with my left hand here is I'm just muting the chord. So I'm holding the shape, if you see, of the B chord, but I'm not pressing down. I'm just holding it right over the strings. And so you're going to get this. And this is what we want. This is a muted sound. This is like 90% of it is just the muted sound. So just get comfortable with this. One and two and three and four and. Then what's gonna happen on beat two and four is you're going to hit the chord and give it the sound. So it's gonna go one and two. And that's what really gives this song that unique sound. Now if you speed it up, it even sounds more authentic. All right, so it might take a little bit of practice. Keys to remember again are keep that right hand or your strumming hand moving the entire time and then get the muting with your left hand or the hand that's holding the chords. And then when you need to hit it, just press down on the chord and then you get the sound. Okay, so let's do the B chord. Ready and it's. And that's it, so two measures. Then it goes to this chord. This is your F sharp chord. And what I'm doing, I'm barring all four strings here for this particular chord. I find it a little bit easier. It also gets two measures of the same rhythm. Ready and. Then I'm going to a G sharp minor chord. It's going to be this. Kind of a unique, unique sounding or at least a unique shape here. It's also going to get two measures, ready and. Then it's going to go to your E chord. It's also going to get two measures, ready and. And that's it. So just those four chords, the B, F sharp, G sharp minor, and E. And then there's one chord that transitions after you do this section, I think you do it like four times, then you just go to this chord, which is your C sharp chord. And it's just like your B chord here on the second fret. Just slide it up two frets and you got C sharp. So after you do that, those, those four chords like four times, then you just hit this C sharp and let it ring. All right, so let's do it now. Come on, get into it. A one, two, a one, and two, and ready, and. And there's that C sharp chord. Now that's still really not at the tempo, so I want to do it one more time. I want to bump it up a little bit, okay? I want two. A one, two, three, and. Yeah. 
All right, so get that down. Get the chords memorized. That's really going to help because some of these shapes you may not be familiar with or play a lot. So get them down because if you get them memorized, they're going to be a lot easier to play and also transition because you got a lot going on. You got that right hand thing going, you got the mutes, and then you're also thinking about the chords. So, anyway, thank you for subscribing to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you next time.